Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzordazzlecrafts.com um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator working in Scotland. I come on today to share with you um, a card that I've not even, I've not made it yet. Um, I've, I take part in, a, in some face group, Facebook groups where um, we do challenges with other Stampin' Up! demonstrators and I'm in a group that's actually just for Scottish demonstrators and there's a challenge being put out to the day, for the day, that the week that I'm filming this although I'm not going to put it out to yourself until afterwards but so the challenge will be over and done with by the time you see it but the, the challenge is to dig out a, a stamp set that you've had for a while but you haven't actually put ink on and I, my share your guilty secret it's called really so my guilty secret here is that I have had varied Vazzy stamp set for some time now and I haven't used it I haven't used it at all so look it's pristine inside it's so it's so sticky and because I have not used it at all so but there's, it is pretty, um, to be honest, it's a bit dinky for my kind of what I normally do, but I'm going to have a try. So what I've done is I've actually downsized the size of card that I would normally make. So I think then it might be a bit more, um, I don't know, in keeping. I've got a wee composition in mind. I don't know if it's going to work. I have no idea if it will work or not. I'm just stretching past because there's something there that I want to do at the end of the card. So... Basically what I've done, got my stamparatus out early. I've cut up I've gone for a four inch square card with a matte of Blackberry Bliss because I'm going to feature Blackberry Bliss in this because well it's just it's one of my favourite colours. So that that's what the matte is and I've then I'll put that to the side and I've cut I haven't made a card, I'm not copying something I've already done, I'm making this up with you watching. So you know again I'm reading your opinions about doing this if you prefer it when I'm flying by the seat of my pants or if you prefer something that's all polished um, anyway I tend to be just work off the cuff so I've cut this is three and three quarters by three and three quarters square I've made this kind of shim in my stamparata so that when I'm stamping if I'm stamping off it won't matter although I don't plan to stamp off on this but we'll just leave it there anyway and that, that's where my square fits into there. I'm going to sit down a bit. I'm going to sit down because um, I find stamp I'm not very a lot of people do work standing up but it's not something I'm terribly good at. I'm getting too old for all that. So I'm going to get rid of the stamps off my block from my previous project. I've just been having quite a busy filming day, but I had noticed this challenge and I do like to take part, especially when someone's gone to the bother of thinking up the challenge for us. I think it's only good, you know, to take, to have a go. So I've got a sort of composition and this is in my head. So this is where the stamparatus comes in. In fact, yeah, this no it won't it will quite almost just fits so i'm thinking some vases on a shelf so that would be my shelf there and i'm going to actually use outlines and color them in with um ink in a moment so i would be thinking know that these vases actually what I'm going to do is stamp the shelf first I've not even planned colors so what's going to go with blackberry bliss where are you blackberry bliss you're here that's quite a strong color that doesn't want to come out now let's go for really vivid strong colors here let's go for something really bright what about we have mango melody in here Lovely lipstick, one of our in colours. Right, what will we need? A, do we need a strong blue or a green? What do you think? What will we put in here? Granny Apple. 
lots of discussion with dem uh, UK demonstrators whether it should really be called Granny Smith. One more, well actually I don't know if I'll get more than four vases. So we'll, anyway, so what colour, if I'm using all these bright colours, what colour will we do the shelf? Mm. So I should have made this decision before now. Right, let's go for soft suede for our, simply because it's there, it was handy. So, so I've, I've put the shelf where I want it to be on my card. Pop that into the corner. Bring over my stamp. Oops. Bring it over. That's it. Put the paper back where you want it. And cut. Maybe just use my bit of microfiber cloth and just take that ink off. It won't mark the paper, but the danger is I might get my fingers in it because it won't reach the paper. But anyway, let's just... I've got the foam in underneath because these are clear stamps. You don't need the foam when you're using a red rubber because they have their own foam. So like just... There we go. So we have a wee straight... Well, I don't know if it's a straight shelf because I didn't actually check if it was straight. I just put it on. I was just using eyesight. So, I don't know how many... Va We've got three at the moment. So, we put one, two, three, and then there's room for that one again. So what do you think we could stamp all these at one go? I, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to use Memento because I am going to colour them in. If I was, well, I will show you. So if I was, if I like the composition, I might want to make several of these cards. So we'll do the vases on here. Right, so then... I'll take this one over. Doesn't want to come off. That's it. And then I'm going to use Memento for this. Use my more recently purchased Memento. Okay. Get my stamps out of the way. Whoa. So then. up the vase outlines. I'm just using the outline stamps. I was pushing down a bit. I'm going to have to shut that soft speed before I end up with my elbow in it. Anyone else like that? Okay that one's a bit above the shelf but you know well it's just me. Okay, so now I want to get, will we do this one? I'll take these off. I'm not going to repeat that anyway. I'm only doing a one-off card just now. So we'll just clean off that this stamp. And then I'm thinking we can put this one upside down. We'll see if we can get this one actually, because this vase can go either way. That one's not too well on the shelf, but we'll make sure this one is sitting on the shelf properly. Card in. Ink it up. Oh, what happened there? That's not right. Did that, that must have moved. I mustn't have stuck it down properly. Wow. So, wipe it off. Try again. don't know what happened. I wasn't paying attention. Were you? Right. Push that over, make sure it's stuck. Then It must have moved when I was putting the ink on it. Well, I'll need to work because I hadn't cleaned the stamp properly and it has left a line, so let's hope 
I get this right or else we're going to have to start all over again. Anyway, so what stamp set have you had for a while and not used? Do you have a guilty secret too? That's not perfect, but it's close enough. I must have moved the card a wee bit. But well, I'm just going to go with it because I just want to show you what I'm planning now. I'm not quite sure how we're going to put the flowers in. I've not got there in my head. So let's just put the vases out of the way. They're in the box for washing. I'll get them all cleaned up after this. So now I need to put the flowers in the vases. So let, let's see. These nice flowers. And there's these ones. I've got to sort of decide where they're going. I'm sticking with outlines because I'm going to colour them in. Now, I think we'll put that one. Let's see, I want. Hmm, I'm going to have that one out of there because I don't want. Because I want to colour the vases, I'm going to have tall flowers. Mm, that's not going to work. I want to... I have to think about this. I want to do a solid... So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I have to think about what I'm doing here. I think I'm going to ink these and just stamp them without my stamping artists, I think. Because I'm going to be able to see what I'm doing properly. Sorry about this, but it's not working in my head, so I'm going to do this by hand. Well it sometimes happens because what I want to do really I don't want the stock showing in the vase because I'm going to colour that in a solid colour so I don't want a black line but I do want to do it in memento so that I can colour the flowers in. So and then she does and does it. What do you like? Right so I'm going to take the ink off the bottom of the stock. I just want some of the stock with ink on. Right, that's a nice one. Then we'll change that. I'm going to take one of the other flowers and I'm going to put this one in there. So I'm just going to do the flowers in a little bit of stock, not much. Just take some of it off with my microfiber cloth here. I do have a chamois, but for some reason I've dumped all my dirty stamps today while I've been filming. <laughs> I've dumped them on top of the chamois so We'll get that out later. So again, just going to line that up with the top of the vase. I may be making this too complicated, but that's me all over, so I can only be who I am. And then I think we'll do this one, and then I think we'll do this one again. I like this one, so I'm just going to, again, it's going into the taller vase. In fact, the taller vase might have more than one flower in it, but they can be a bit taller because there's enough space. So let's just put that one slightly to the side. And clean that off. actually going to do that one twice I think. I'll just choose the ink a bit lower. That's okay. And then and then I'm going to use this one. What stamp set have you not used? I didn't hear what you said. A 
bet you've got one that you've never put in cone. Just not had time or once you got it, the inspiration, you can't remember what it was you were going to do with it. Right, so there's flowers in each of these vases. As I say, I'm going to colour them in solid here. So I'm just looking at the time and yeah, we're okay. Um, put the lid on. And I'm going to use my Winkoff Stella and I'm going to colour the vases in each of these four colours that I've got out here. And then I'm going to colour the flowers also using them. So that was why I used the memento because that works with all the colours. So let's get the ink colours open. And have I got... Yep, I've obviously used these colours for this sort of thing before because I've got ink in each of them. Oh, not with my Blackberry Bliss now. There's, that's funny because I would have thought I would have by now. Need a bit more than that. So just squeezing it from the bottom onto the pad and then that just puts enough ink in the lid for you to paint with. There we go. Don't need a lot. I seem to be getting it on my hands again. Alright, let's see how this goes then. So we've, we've managed to get four vases in this. So I need my wink of Stella. I am addicted to it. I'm not going to apologise for that. So maybe start off with one of the lighter colours. So I'm going to do some yellow. Do I have a yellow vase? So I'll take this first one and make it the yellow vase. Just give it some sparkle. And I'm just basically making it more of a solid colour by adding more and more layers of colour on with my Wink of Stella. And just self-coloured vases we've got here and then I want to wipe off. I'm just going for nice bright colours here today. So wipe that off and then we'll have a pink one. This lovely lipstick is a really bright ready pink, so skip this one can be the... Let's try and stay inside the lines. It'll look much better. It's picking up the colour, keep it solid. If you're good at watercolour and um, painting, you'll be able to make a better job. I mean, I enjoy doing it, but I'm not particularly skilled. You okay, so that's that one. Put the colour back in. Wipe it off. Whoops. Just wipe it off on the cloth and then you can pick up the next colour. It'll be fine. I'm going for a green here. So if you were doing them to look like clear vases, this is the, the magic vase that, um, this is the magic vase here that's not quite on the shelf. <laughs> it's, it's levitating, but hey, that's okay. That's just a card, isn't it? So.
I'm just showing you the process of making a card and trying out to see what a stamp set does until you, you know, play with something you don't know. I, I just, I liked it and I like what I've seen other people do but I just didn't come up with anything but because of the challenge today I've just forced myself to do it and I squeezed something out, it's looking okay already isn't it? So that's our green vase, albeit that it's levitating. I'm not going to try and fix it, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Next time I'll learn to pay more attention. And then we'll have a Blackberry Bliss vase here, this nice tall one. So the person in this house obviously likes really bright colours. It's very, very strong colours, isn't it? I'm doing this with my Wink and Stella, but I've got an idea to make the vases actually glossy rather than shimmery. What we'll maybe do is make two of them glossy and leave two of them shimmery, and then we can see what we like best when it's dry. So I'm just picking up more colour onto my Wink of Stella. So I probably could have just done this with an aqua painter, but I, I think the Wink of Stella has alcohol in, so it tends to dry a bit quicker. So when you want to do something that's more within the lines, I find that the Wink of Stella is better, because I'm not really looking for the watercolour look. I'm looking for the process that's like watercolour, but... Edge there. Right, so there you go, there's my vases done. Really bright, aren't they? So there now we need to do the flowers to go. So what I'm going to do is do the bottom petals. This is kind of like an orchid, isn't it? So I'll do the bottom ones a bit darker. And you'll see what happens with Wink of Stella. It gets lighter, obviously, as you go on. So when I start colouring details like this, I struggle to talk and colour. Hope you can put up with me. And I'm hoping that you're seeing what's happening. I keep turning it around the other way. So I haven't actually refilled the brush so that this way, although I tried to do the vases fairly solid colour, this way these will be a bit more translucent. There you go. And slightly different shading on the petals. A bit more like real real flowers so I'm just going to add a bit of yeah we well, probably shouldn't have started with the darkest colour but never mind okay so we'll get a bit of yellow on our brush just for the middle of these flowers there we go and then maybe we'll have some yellow flowers here would you really put um, yellow flowers in a purple vase. Mm, I'm not sure. But I do love this mango melody. I think it's a fantastic colour. I'm going to get a bit more ink on my... I'm pushing it. Push it down with your thumbs. These um, cases are a bit stiffer than the older ones. But there you go. We did it. But they've got a good seal, so that'll still be there the next time I want to use this as a watercolour. The ink is so versatile that you can use it in so many different ways. Hey, yellow flowers. Very nice. Cheerful. 
Okay, so we'll clear off. So what we're going to do next? What do you think? Right, so in the pink vase. Hmm. Do we have pink flowers in the pink vase? I haven't thought this through. Have I done them opposite each other? Don't really want green flowers in there, do we? Hmm. Wonder, 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 wonder. Just do these yellow, I think. And then we'll have lipstick red in there. Our lovely lipstick, even. I don't want to add another colour in here, but what I'm doing is this a bit stronger. Okay, I've gone quiet again. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's more peaceful if I shut up for you. Okay, so then I'm going to do these ones with the Blackberry Bliss. little wee buds really but I'm sure it look fine and you know what I hadn't cleaned all the mango melody off properly but I think that's actually quite good because it's given me a slightly different shade but that's okay artistic license here I just need to clean that off properly so it doesn't contaminate the whole pad. There you go. Oh, I was going to do lovely lipstick and I did Blackberry Bliss. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. I'm cleaning it off a bit more thoroughly. I'm just going to add a bit of lipstick in here actually maybe leave the yellow kind of in the middle what do you think okay. I'm liking that. Right, so I'm nearly done with the flowers and then we'll just make the card up. And I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen to make the vases quite glossy but I'm going to wait until I've glued it all to actually quite like that lipstick, lovely lipstick over the top of the mango melody. I think like it's a bit more flower like to be honest with you but you know you can experiment and see what you can come up with. So I'm just going to clean off the ink. I know I need to deal with the Blackberry Bliss later on but um, I'm just going to cl close these up make up the card and then oh do you know what I haven't done I haven't done a sentiment and I'm going to just pop a wee sentiment here I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss because I'm matting it onto Blackberry Bliss I just that makes sense in my head so what sentiment will we use there's really welded on together so what have we got hoping your day Blooms with happiness. You are simply the best birthday wishes. Hello. I think hoping your day blooms with happiness will be nice. And it'll be even nicer if I find a block to put it on. All these flower stamps to wash up. And clean up. And that's not long enough. Oh yeah, it does fit. I didn't think it would fit. I thought it was... We'll get it on there straight. Okay, so hoping your day 
blooms with happiness. Mm, this looks lovely. I'm actually really pleased with this. So I need to just get my head in here and check that this is straight down and up. There you go, hoping your day blooms with happiness. Right, what was the ink this time? Right, now, can you see the shimmer on that? Right, when I do the glossy, the fine tip glue over the top, I wonder if we'll still see the shimmer. I love that. Right, glue it. Just made a splodge, I think. Oh, how I did that! I'll just have to stay. It's got a bit of ink on there, but there's nothing I can do about it now. and layer it onto the card base. Mm. Bit annoyed with the splodge dink. Quite annoyed with that. I'm wondering. Ooh, I wonder if I should just do a bit of sponge around the edging and then that would disguise that. What do you think? Or am I just going to cause myself? Do you know, I'm going to try because that is a bit messy. Have I got a sponge here though? That's the only thing. Probably not. We'll have those sponges were in the kitchen that I washed. What? Okay. Oh, I've got a bit of sponge here. Now, where's my... I'm just going to use a bit of Blackberry Bliss here. I'm not going to add much, but I'm going to just add a wee bit. I'm going to get some onto the sponge. And then take it off again, really. And then I'm just going to do a wee bit of buffing around the edge. It will just distract from the splodges that I made. It will kind of make it look more arty. Wasn't quite what I planned. But it just makes it look more dreamy. I just need a wee bit more on here. I don't want too much. Half of putting it on and then taking it off again just to make sure I don't get any. I'm only just, I'm not leaning too hard, I'm just skipping around so that if I've got other splodges other elsewhere on the card, they don't show up. Everybody thinks they're meant to be now. So I'm just kind of, I'm actually just going to take this very gently over the top and it just take the white off. The whole just takes the starkness off the white. 
There we go. That's a sort of a cover up for the splodges, but it distracts your eye from them and then you don't know that they're mistakes. So, you know, yet another way to fix a mistake. I'm actually quite pleased with that. We'll just get rid of the inky mess because I'll just end up with more of that on my hands. I bring the card in now. So what do you think? Do you like that? I'm quite pleased and that is, that's my card for the challenge, you know, to get out a card, a stamp set that you have never used before and get it inky. So, oh, I'm probably going to put this out to you on World Card Making Day because that's a nice easy card to do. Uh, yep, I'm, I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking of other ideas now. I think I really like this stamp set. Now just, as I said, what, what I'm going to do is I'll have to lay it flat and I'll just have to leave it here for a while to dry. Probably overnight I'll need to lay it up somewhere. So the fine tip glue pen is a really brilliant product. You obviously can use it as glue but you can actually use it as a glaze as well. So I think we'll we'll glaze the yellow vase. So basically once I get, I need to get the glue to be coming out first. Yeah that's it. So once you start it, kind of like ice it. Oh look at the shake I've got today. I do actually have a natural tremor. So basically what I'm doing as I'm going round the inside of the line with my glue, whoops, you kind of go round the edge and then you just gently in little circles fill in the rest of it. Just take your time. Squeeze in gently to get a wee gentle flow of glue. You don't need too much. And then you're just meeting the line that you've already put in there. Now it does look a kind of milky colour at first, but it will dry beautifully clear and give that a really nice gloss. And I think you'll still see the shimmer through that. So will we gloss up the green one too? So again, go right round the outline. Because this forms a seal so that the rest of the glue doesn't overflow. Because this bit will dry quicker. And then just filling in the middle with circular motions. To join it all up. Just help it spread. There we go. There we are. So we'll just let that dry. And then I get, there's a wee pin in the lid. Just line it up with the hole, squeeze it on and screw it shut and you know that's ready to go again. I have had this since I started my Stampin' Up! journey two and a half years ago and I've maybe used about half of it but I use it a fair bit and it's, you know, it gives a nice finish. So there you go, some glazed vases, kind of botched up afterwards but budging my finger however I actually like the effect it's just that I've got there looks a bit more arty thanks for sticking with me happy world card making day I want to see what everybody else has done for card making world card making day this is one I'm this is mine um as I say I did it for a challenge it was my guilty secret the stamp set I've never used but I can tell you now once I've now that I've got that inky there's so much more in that set to to investigate there's solid vases there's vases with patterns on I don't have the punch but guess what will be going in my next order thanks for sticking with me have a fabulous world card we're all card making day please show on social media what you've been doing please share with us all and please comment in the box below and let me know what you think about this and also um, if you're not a subscriber already please push the subscribe button please help me I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year I really need your support to do that and please push the a little bit uh, bell at 
bell icon and then you'll get notification when my next video comes out. Thank you very much. Bye bye.